Dub Nation, I have a challenge for you guys. Last April, this channel had 68 shares, and that was when the Golden State Warriors were starting their playoff run. They made it to the second round, and I have a feeling this run is going to be a lot better for the Golden State Warriors. So this month, we're currently at 37 shares so far. I know it's only about a week in April, but my goal this month is to hit 100 shares. If you know somebody at Dub Nation that's going to enjoy this video, loves Clay Thompson, which is who we're talking about on today's show, go on ahead and send this to somebody that you know. We're talking Clay Thompson contract extension rumors on Warriors today by Chat Sports. You got Allie Barefoot here, and there has been a report that Clay Thompson is not expecting a massive deal like he kind of originally was before this regular season started. He kind of wanted more of a Draymond Green esque type of contract, but now I think he just wants to stay in Golden State. I'm just going to jump right into it. ESPN's Kendra, Kendra Andrews jumped on Brian Windhorse's podcast and said, from my understanding, at least when it comes to Clay's contract, the conversations that I've had, he isn't under this impression that he's going to get this massive contract. Kerr is on for two more years, matching up with Curry's contract with two more years, but Clay would be content matching up with those guys. They've been his ride or die the entire time in Dub Nation. So Kendra said, let's finish this out. He understands where he's at in his career, what he's capable of, what he deserves. The other important thing is that he wants to feel appreciated by this organization. He wants them to come to him and say, we're going to take care of you. And I don't blame Klay Thompson at all for what he's done for the Golden State Warriors over the last decade, creating the Splash Brothers. Well, being a part of the Splash Brothers with Steph Curry, the three with Draymond Green and Curry as well, Klay has been a huge role in the Golden State Warriors' success. But we do know that this year has not been all peaches and cream for Klay Thompson. Mentally, physically, he's struggled. I would be struggling too if I came back from two major surgeries, but also the mental part of it is constantly being one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA in slightly falling off, shooting a career low 38% from downtown. So it just makes me wonder, is this the last bit of juice in the tank? A last bit of squeeze in the lemon? Could Klay Thompson even put up these numbers next year? Well, Klay Thompson finally spoke out on his free agency on the Draymond Green show and basically said, I just can't believe it's here. In your mid-20s, it's so crazy. You think you're going to play forever. You think you just maintain that athletic level that it seems effortless. But then as time goes on, you really do realize how demanding this job really is. It's so physically demanding. I was actually struggling with that a lot at the beginning of this year because of the unknown. I might have let contract situations, playing time, or making up a lot of excuses rather than just appreciating what is in front of me. It took me and Steve like four real heart-to-heart -heart conversations to finally break my shell and be like, you know what? I just got to have fun this year. I deserve to have fun. We work so hard to freaking win these games, to be able to play into June with the fans on the road. There's just nothing better. And I love hearing this from Clay Thompson, who we have seen many forms of this year. We've seen press conference Clay just asking, am I upset? Of course I'm upset. We've seen the moping Clay Thompson when he's on the bench and he's not starting. But to finally get the real Clay Thompson, the veteran Clay Thompson, say, look, I'm doing my best, and I understand that my best right now may not be worth a massive contract deal. And when I heard that on the podcast, I'm like, kind of seems like he's at peace with whatever is about to happen. Whether he stays with Golden State, it really does seem like, hey, look, I made an effort saying I'll take a pay cut, and they didn't want me. If he goes somewhere else, maybe he can be an ally and an asset there. But KT does realize that he probably has maximum five years left in his NBA career, which is kind of sad to think about. So I have a question. Do you guys think this is going to be Clay's last year in the Bay Area? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I actually put a poll on the community post on the Warriors Today page, and a lot of you guys are saying you, of course, want Klay Thompson to stay as a Golden State Warrior. But with money and his experience this year, it may not be the ending result. So we're going to break up some teams who want Klay Thompson, who have shown interest in Klay Thompson towards the back half of this show. But I cannot get there without telling you guys about the number one daily fantasy sports app in America right now. And I want you guys to jump on this train because you can now win up to 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. You can turn $10 into 1000 with basketball, hockey, and college basketball entries 
today on Prize Fix, America's number one daily fantasy sports app. If you're asking, Allie, how in the world do you play this app? Well, just pick between two to six players and just pick more or less on their projected stats. It is truly that easy. It takes me less than 60 seconds to make my picks, and you know I had to jump in on the March Madness action here tonight. I've got Zach Eady having more than 14 rebounds and assists, and i got Castle having more than 11 points. Plus, a little to total solar eclipse happened today, so they gave you a discount putting your shades on here for Graham, given more than three-and-a-half pitcher strikeouts. So those are my prize picks. You can go ahead and make yours. Just go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It is that easy. Adrian Wojnarowski did tweet out the salary cap projections for next year, what it's going to look like for majority of the NBA teams as they're heading into a new season. He's looking like a salary cap's going to be upwards of $141 million, with that minimum team salary about $127 million as well. You see your tax level, you got your first apron, and you've got your second apron. This is what a lot of NBA teams are going to be guiding towards next NBA season. So NBA University went on ahead and did all the stats and math for me, because you guys see me do mental math on air. I am very stupid. So projected cap space for approximate teams this summer, you got Detroit looking at the most in their cap space, $61 million. You got Philly with Joel Embiid at $55 million is insane. That's still a big playoff contender team. You got Orlando, Utah, OKC, another great playoff team. And then you got the San Antonio Spurs with the future possible best player ever, Wimby. So when those, all those teams with that big of cap space, there are rumors now heating up that Klay Thompson could be going to the Orlando Magic. They've definitely been eyeing him. There are a lot of resources, a lot of young resources on the Orlando Magic. They almost want to Chris Paul the trade deadline because they've been looking for that backcourt specialist. They've been looking for some offense, and they've been looking for a veteran. Plus, with Orlando facing about three unrestricted free agents in the offseason and four restricted free agents in the offseason, there's going to be a lot of roster moves happening possibly for the team down in Florida. And if you look at who could be returning, and this is pending any trades or anything like that, I can't predict the future. If I did, I'd be playing prize picks a lot more, code CLNS. But this is, a t this is the possible returners for the Orlando Magic. Jalen Suggs, who has become one of my favorite players to watch in the Eastern Conference. You got Jonathan Isaac, Wendell Carter Jr., P Banchero, and then you have Mortise Wagner. This is still a very stacked roster that could really improve with the shooting of Clay Thompson. Plus, when you look at the Splash Brother possibly going down in Florida, with Wagner facing free agency, the Magic could use veteran experience with Clay Thompson and have a secondary score with the NBA All-Star Banchero to possibly put a little bit more oomph under their asses and help them kind of break that limit. I know that the Orlando Magic was kind of creeping up here earlier this regular season, but now they've kind of fallen off under that five spot. So it does make me wonder if whether or not Clay Thompson could possibly be that missing link here for a team like Orlando. If not Orlando, what about Philly? What about San Antonio? What about the Thunder, who's knocking on the number one seat of the Western Conference door? Clay Thompson still may have a little bit of gas left in his tank, and if he does, it doesn't mean he's going to use it all up in the Bay Area. But despite that, I obviously know your answer to this question is going to be, I want to sign with the Golden State Warriors. Then type that down below because they may have to be vying for him as well in the offseason to re-sign Klay Thompson to come back to the Golden State Warriors or it could be anybody's game. Is there a team like the Golden State Warriors, the Magic, the 76ers, that you would like to see Klay Thompson play for next year? Go ahead and comment that down below. And like I said, we're trying to hit 100 shares this month. It's super easy. I'll do all the work. I just give you guys one button to click. Just go on ahead and click that share button. Send it out in your group messages. Send it out to your grandma. If she doesn't have a YouTube account, make her an account and subscribe to this one. But go on ahead and share this video.